Hey guys, what's up? It's Iflin here, and today we're gonna be getting our first Kubru in Warframe. Like, I talked to the clan and they suggested this video, so that's what we're gonna do. We're also gonna be inviting some people from the clan into the video, so whoever says in the clan that they wanna join, they're gonna get invited. So, Prince Teddy Bear, he's up first, if I can manage the screen. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and activate the quest first, so. Uh, how you get this quest is you actually go in and you kill the boss on Vetus called, I forget what, the Jackal, there you go. You get the Rhino parts off him and you also get this quest from him as well. So let's go ahead and start up the quest. You're a Tano, you deserve a Kibro by your side. Corpus have recovered an incubator segment. This is an excellent opportunity. Okay, so what the Lotus is saying right now is we go to a place... Okay, hold on. Uh, have you killed the jackal? There we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and invite him anyway. Basically, what the Lotus is saying is the Corpus have found an incubator segment, which is the thing that will appear here, down in your foundry. So this here, a little bit over here, offline segment required. That's the incub incubator segment right there. The Corpus discovered one of those, and we're going to go ahead and steal it from them. So we're going to be doing a survival mission. Uh, you got to kill him. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go in ourselves and do this. So Alara survival. Uh, we basically just have to survive for about five minutes, I think. Pretty easy. So definitely bring your mag if you're following the tutorials to the book. Bring mag. Because mag is the corpus killer. Let's get this done as fast as possible. Your job is to distract the enemy while a fellow Tenno operative raids the ship for much needed supplies. Whoops. Make your Slid a little bit too far there. All right. They've turned off critical life support systems. I suspected they might try this. Stand by for support. Want to make sure to destroy those cameras. The first so then uh, no one, none of the electric barriers show up and you don't like ragdoll going through doors. This area has taken some hits. Stay away from fire damage. Definitely a place you could sit and camp in this house set. Let them come up here, kind of scope them. I, can't, I find it kind of funny the way that they just keep jumping up. So let's really just try to survive for five minutes and then we should get the segment. At least I think it's five minutes. I hope it's five minutes as well. Get ready for a capsule. Pretty easy mission. There's really like nothing, Another nothing too hard about this. You can get neural sensors from here, so that's why I recommend staying in a place where all the enemies spawn very fast, such as a big room like this. And even if you're playing with a team, make sure that they stay around, like you stay together, so then they do spawn a lot more. This makes it easier. Uh, maybe not survival, surviving wise, but getting drops wise, it's so much easier. So you're gonna get more life support, so I guess you could say that you survive a bit better. I would say you would, just stay as this team. You're less likely to die. Prepare for life 
hate those little flying drones. I can't ever hit them with the arrows. You have the ability to wall bang with the Paris Prime as well. Just something to keep in mind. Like thin surfaces like that there, you can easily just shoot free, like take a look at the box. You know? There you go, I just pinned them free. I think any like mainly puncture weapon can do that since it's the boltler. Not too sure though. I usually run shred on my boltler anyway, so I like to punch free. But we'll be getting onto that soon enough. Or money to him, damage to him. sensors being dropped which is kind of annoying. Usually like seeing them drop. Especially whenever I'm not like staying here to get neural sensors. Usually just picking one up per run is very nice. Like on any Jupiter mission for that reason. and hit this life support. That should keep you going for a while. Too far away, we can't hit him. There we go, we got the segment. I think pretty easy. Just holding down in this one room. Camera, where's that? Okay, I must have destroyed it with that uh, nice Hellfire mod right there. I must have killed it with my shield polarizer right there. Shield drone got way too close to it. Real easy mission. Another job well executed. Okay, we got our nice incubator segment. We're just gonna go ahead and ins install this. There we go. So we actually have everything that's needed because we were here for that event where we can, you know, incubate a Kibru. So, um, yeah. This should. Yeah, install the incubator segment. For some reason that hasn't registered, so if it doesn't actually register with you, this is a bug that they have with the quest system. I don't know why, but because this is like one of the first quests you do, if it doesn't register that you've completed an objective, literally you can just restart the game or you can go ahead and play a mission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play a mission uh, and then back out of it into the ship again and then hopefully that fixes the problem. But for some reason, with the Warframe quest system, sometimes the Lotus doesn't acknowledge that you've completed an objective, so it's just really annoying bug in my opinion. It's something that they have to work on. They are reworking the whole quest system, so maybe by the time you watch this, they've already like fixed all the bugs with it, and there's like a completely new quest system added into the game. But, uh, you know, as of right now, that's an annoying bug. Personally, I don't... I don't know why they like they haven't put more quests in the game. Like, I get that they want to make it perfect, but you know, 
by putting more time into the quest system that they have now originally, you know, they could improve upon it, so. There you go, see, now they've acknowledged it. As the savages looted, I would be happy to help you install it. Ordis awaits incubator segment installation. Operator, no need to rush. Good. Good, now you just need a Kerber egg. Let's start the process. For all Kerber's dens on Earth would be a good place to start looking. So, basically, what you have to do now is go to Earth. Any mission on Earth, and there will be these Kubro dens. So I would recommend missions such as Everest or even E Prime, like just a normal E Prime mission, not the Syndicate mission. Everest or E Prime, and these are exterminate missions where Kubro dens spawn. And I'm pretty sure Everest has more. It all depends on the tile set that you get. So you go in here and. There will be Kubrus. You can kill those Kubrus and they'll drop mods for your Kubru. And they'll be coming out of dens. So they'll be spawning out of dens. And like the more dens there are, the more Kubrus spawn in the map. What you want to do is kill all the Kubrus that are present in the map and then destroy the dens. So we're going to go ahead and look for one of these dens anyway. Even though we don't need it because we already have an egg. We're gonna go ahead and look. Now these can like spawn pretty much there's some dance there. Okay, so these are feral kibros. Go ahead and kill them. We'll drop mods, resources, etc. Make sure to kill any grenier that are shooting at you because they're annoying. Mainly use slash weapons, that's why I'm using the Orphos. They have more damage to slash, and you just damage the den and then another Kibro will spawn. Now we do it again, more Kubrus. I don't think anything dropped there. Oh, there's a nice resource. Alright, so whenever you destroy the den, you'll have a chance for an egg to drop, and it is a rare drop, so it'll be glowing gold. So nothing dropped there, that time either. So it'll be glowing gold. So you might, you might have to run this, I don't know, I would say about five times. I usually get them pretty frequently, I mean they're not that rare to come across. But we'll go ahead and scout the map for more just so you get an idea in the spawn locations. There's none down here. I've never seen this part of this tile set before. Um, I don't think any spawn down here either. Oh, that's a dead end. Cooper right there. So far, I haven't seen any Cooper mod drops. None down there either. Should be one that spawns in this type of area. Yep, there we go. There's loads. Holy shit. So if we just go ahead and kill them, see if we get an egg drop, which I don't think we are going to get because we already have one. If you already have an egg, you can't actually pick up another one. You only have one egg active in your inventory at a time. Nice stealth kill. Don't mind if I do. There's usually two, um, not on this tile set, but there's usually two Kubro dens on the end of like a certain earth tile set where you can go look. I don't think any more dens spawned on this map, but you know what to kill now to get the egg, and that's what matters. Uh, if you're here for the Den of Kubro event, you'll know that. Oh my god, this guy's wanting. Did the. killed the jackal, so you'll know that you already have a Kubro egg act if you have everything needed to build a Kubro. Now another thing that you'll need alternatively is a power core and where do you get this is actually in the marketplace so if we head over to the marketplace got a message what is this uh... 
Okay. Whatever. Uh, okay, I didn't even know that existed, but... Okay, so go to... I think it's... No, it's not components. It is... Must be gear? Or is it? I must be very blind right now. Maybe... Kubrus? Yes, Kubrus. Go to Kubrus and then there'll be this incubator power core blueprint and you're gonna have to go ahead and build that. 4.5 nanospores, 2 control module and 1 argon crystals with another 100k credits on top of the blueprint which is 50k. So you wanna go ahead and buy that there. I don't recommend buying anything else in here. Maybe the genetic code, t code template. If you get like a rare type of Kubru you can trade it, sell it for platinum. Uh, you don't actually lose your Kubru, you're just like trading blueprint to it. So you want to build that there genetic, or that power core. And then you want to go over here and then begin your incubation. Now you just want to start a random one unless you've bought imprints of somebody. So you're going to start a random one. And this is going to produce a random Kubru for you. So I think I have enough platinum on my other account to rush a Kubru incubation. So I'm going to go ahead over on that and see if you know I can show you a Kubru that comes out and what type of Kubru I get and also go into the different types of Kubru's that there are etc etc so I'll see you in that alright so I have enough platinum to actually rush this for you guys so I'm wasting 15 platinum on you guys so what do we get? what do we get? ooh my shadow's going all funny what? okay claim it come on Okay, so we get a meal Kubru. YOLO, gonna call him Jeff. Okay, so your Kubru will spawn with a different like breed of Kubru and different patterns. Sometimes you get a Kubru that has like a Lotus symbol on its head, and those are usually the Kubrus that are, you know, more valuable. So you can get a like a genetic blueprint of that and you know sell it to someone else for platinum. Now if we look at him, we have 100% more health and 100% more damage. Now what you have to do is you actually have to uh, look after the Kubru, and this is one of the reasons that I don't like it so much. What you have to do is you have to come back to this like every day and give it like a DNA stabilizer and you have to interact with it every so often whenever the damage, the percent damage goes down. So you can only interact with him twice a day uh, I'm pretty sure you can feed him as much DNA stabilizers as you'd like, not too sure on that. But you give him the DNA stabilizer so he doesn't die. So if this gets to zero, he will die. If you don't interact with him, then he's just not going to do as much damage. Now, the temperament is basically the type of Kubru that there is. So if you look at this, uh, designed by the orc and to be perfect companion at Kubru and never far from its master's side, loyal and obedient, these creatures made ideal bodyguards equipped with shield generators for added protection. A fierce growl could paralyze any attacker with fear. So this basically like threatens the enemy and makes it run away. Now there's different types of Kubrus. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can go up to the codex and read all the descriptions. Yeah, Kubrus. Sonika, Raska, Sahasha, and Hiras. So I had a Sonika, that was my first one. Once uh once the value of orc and guard pets have been neutral, uh, realized, orc and scientists began experimenting with strains designed for combat. No longer household pets, but superior war animals breed for ferocity and aggression. This one basically goes and captures enemies for you, so like capture targets. It goes and tackles them and then you can capture them. Uh, Sahasa. This one will dig up items for you. And I'm pretty sure the Huras makes you go invisible. Now this is the one that everybody likes, everyone loves Huras Kubras. Uh, personally, I like Hero Scoobers as well. I think they look pretty cool. So, you can get any four types of Kubru. Now, the reason that I don't like Kubrus too much is because you actually have to look after them. I mean, these DNA stabilizers, they take time. I think you, they take time to build. They just take credits anyway. They take up resources and it just, you know, it doesn't seem like, you know, worth it to me. Okay, 75,000 credits for how many, how many stabilizers? Six DNA stabilizers per one. So, we'll go ahead and buy that. Now we have 71, so, you know, <laughs> you have to spend a lot of credits on keeping it alive, so, better go and farm those credits up. Now, they also take time to mature, so I can't actually take this in the battle yet, 
I have to wait for him to mature. So if I were to go to Companion, see he's incubating. So he has to mature first before I can use him. So it just takes a lot of time. Where Sentinels, once you have them build, you can use them straight away. Um, I'm not too sure about four main Kubrus. Like, I've never actually played around with a Kubru that much. You know, even though this one looks extremely fucking cute for some reason, I don't. Have, I have no idea why he's just sitting looking at me like a duh. But he's gonna turn into a big ugly thing pretty soon, you know. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll I'll definitely invest more time in the Kubrus because I know like they can deal a good amount of damage, and they are implementing more. Oh my god, this is so cute! I don't know why. Oh my god. Okay. Um. They can deal a lot of damage if you mod them correctly. So, you know? I wonder if we can interact with it. Interact with Jeff. There we go. Pat his head. They're going to be implementing more types of Cobras into the game, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be implementing it so they can walk around the ship on his own at some point. So, uh, And they're also implementing cats, so cat pets as well. So I don't know. It's whatever you want to do. I mean, you don't have to get a Cobra if you don't want to, but, you know... You can get it. You can get it. I mean, playing around with it isn't too bad. I mean, it is a game. You want to have fun with it, so why the hell not? Go ahead, get a Kubru. But uh, if you want to actually, you know, make it do damage and keep it alive and stuff, you're going to have to invest some time and credits into getting those stabilizers. You can also revive these as well, so if it dies, you can revive it. You don't exactly have to use a mod to get it to be revived, like Carriers. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.